on the other hand, compared to any other technology, I've seen more people worried about it earlier in its life cycle. Have you heard about robots that can multitask, self-learn, and at the same time teach other robots? Yes, Google's DeepMind has come up with such a revolutionary technology. Artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm and one of the most significant contributors to its progression has been Google's DeepMind. It has taken self-learning to the next stage and let's see how this is made possible. Established in 2010, DeepMind is an AI research lab that has made groundbreaking strides within the self-learning field, known as reinforcement learning. By harnessing the power of neural networks, big data and advanced algorithms, DeepMind has pushed the boundaries of what AI can accomplish. Google's DeepMind's contributions have raised the field of self-learning to a new level. Let's try to understand what self-learning or reinforcement learning is all about. It is an AI training method where an agent learns to make decisions by interacting with its environment. Unlike supervised learning, where an AI model is trained on labeled data, or unsupervised learning, where the model finds patterns in unlabeled data. Reinforcement learning focuses on maximizing cumulative rewards through trial and error. DeepMind's work in this area has been nothing short of revolutionary. Now we will look into DeepMind's biggest achievement, which came in 2013 when they developed a model called DeepQ Network DQN. This model was the first to combine deep learning with reinforcement learning, enabling AI agents to learn and excel at classic video games like Atari 2600. Deep Reinforcement Learning DRL, is a type of machine learning that permits AI frameworks to memorize and act ideally in an environment by trial and error. DRL systems are trained on a dataset of experiences, which are basically sequences of actions and rewards. The framework learns to relate certain actions with certain rewards, and over time, it becomes better at taking actions that lead to the desired result. DeepMind is a research company that has been at the cutting edge of DRL research. In 2016, DeepMind's AlphaGo program defeated a world-winning Go player, which was a major breakthrough within the field of artificial intelligence. AlphaGo used profound learning and reinforcement learning to memorize to play Go at a superhuman level. DQN's ability to outperform human players in these games demonstrated the potential of deep reinforcement learning. Since that point, DeepMind has created a number of other DRL frameworks that have accomplished noteworthy results in a variety of domains, counting Atari games. DeepMind's DQN, DeepQ network calculation was able to memorize to play Atari diversions at a superhuman level. Protein folding. DeepMind's AlphaFold program was able to foresee the structure of proteins with phenomenal precision. Robotics. DeepMind's MuZero program was able to memorize to play a variety of Atari games, indeed in spite of the fact that it was as it was prepared on a single game. In 2016, DeepMind's AlphaGo made history by defeating the world winner Go player Lee Sedol in a five-game match. Go, an ancient Chinese board game, is known for its unimaginable complexity, with more possible board positions than there are atoms in the universe. AlphaGo's triumph checked a noteworthy turning point in AI, illustrating how self-learning algorithms can handle immensely complex issues. AlphaGo's triumph over human champions has had a number of implications for the field of artificial intelligence. It has appeared that AI frameworks can presently compete with people at the most elevated levels of a complex game. It has moreover appeared that AI frameworks can learn to play games by trial and error and improve their play over time. AlphaGo's victory has moreover raised a number of moral concerns. A few individuals have contended that AI frameworks that are able to overcome human champions seem to pose a risk to all humankind. Others have contended that AI frameworks ought not to be utilized to play games that people traditionally play, as this might lead to the erosion of human culture. Despite these concerns, AlphaGo's triumph over human champions could be a major breakthrough in the improvement of artificial intelligence. It has appeared that AI frameworks can presently compete with humans at the most noteworthy levels of a complex game. This can be a significant achievement, and it proposes that AI frameworks have the potential to outperform human capabilities in a number of other areas as well. 
the world is becoming more and more accustomed to the shifting technological tides. Robotics is not far behind artificial intelligence in terms of advancements across industries. Robotics has recently gained a new dimension thanks to Google DeepMind. The most recent invention, the RoboCat, is capable of carrying out a variety of duties using different robotic limbs. Since RoboCat has the unique ability to tackle and adjust to a variety of tasks, employing numerous robot types in real-world circumstances, it can be categorized as a new league of robotics. According to Google DeepMind, this has never been done in robotics before. The majority of robots, according to DeepMind's official site, are designed to carry out particular jobs. However, as AI develops, robots might be able to handle more duties. It claimed that because real-world training data collection takes so long, general-purpose robot advancement is going far more slowly than it should. The company asserts that compared to other cutting-edge models, RoboCat learns a great deal more quickly. Due to its extensive use of a wide data set, RoboCat can learn a new task with as few as 100 demonstrations. This, according to Google DeepMind, will aid in expediting robotics development because it almost eliminates the need for human assistance during training. The business views it as a development in the design of all-purpose robots. How does RoboCat learn and improve itself? RoboCat learns with the help of Gato. Gato is a multimodal model developed by Google DeepMind that can process words, visuals, and actions in both virtual and real worlds. RoboCat is based on Gato. The company asserted that it has added a sizable training data set, action sequences, and photos of several robot arms completing hundreds of tasks to Gato's architecture. The business said that following this circle, it put RoboCat through a cycle of self-improvement training with a variety of unknown jobs. There were five processes involved in learning new duties. The information is acquired from a broad range of actual robot arm models and computer simulated surroundings. The scientists used a sizable data set of photographs and movements of various robot arms performing hundreds of other tasks to train Gatto. For this new task slash arm, create a spin-off agent that is a finely tuned version of RoboCat. The repurposed agent will train for 10,000 repetitions on this extra task slash arm on average. Add the sample data and fresh data you produced to RoboCat's database. The new data set should be used to retrain RoboCat. RoboCat is truly inspiring with its ability to keep learning and continue evolving, which should be the motto of every human being. For sure, we can say that Google's DeepMind has revolutionized self-learning and took it to the next level. Did you find RoboCat impressive? Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching.